Hey class, I'm Mr Thornton and I'm going to help you get that C in your GCSE. In this two-part lesson I'm looking at energy resources and in this half I'm going to look at the non-renewable energy resources. Those are the fossil fuels, coal, oil and gas and nuclear power. <music> Now coal, oil and gas, uh, they're all carbon-based fuels, so there is a big problem when we burn them, which is that they release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. That's carbon dioxide which has been locked away for millions of years. And so it, we're putting an awful lot more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere now than we ever have in the past. And it is a greenhouse gas. Uh, we believe that we are currently affecting our own climate and causing climate change as a result of burning far more carbon-based fuels right now in history than we ever have before. So that's a big problem to worry about. Um, there's another big problem if we're burning coal as well, because coal also contains sulphur impurities. And so as you burn coal, you produce sulphur dioxide too, and that can cause acid rain. Uh, that can dissolve things like limestone, marble, concrete, and slowly damage buildings and structures. And it can also cause damage to uh, woodland or to lakes. It tends to make the water or the soil too acidic. Plants die off and then the rest of the ecosystem dies off because those producers right down at the bottom of the food web aren't there to produce anymore because the soil or the water has been made too acid. So big problems with those. Uh, we could use nuclear fuel instead. Nuclear fuel doesn't produce carbon dioxide based pollutants. It doesn't produce sulfur dioxide. But after we've used the nuclear fuel, we're left with highly radioactive waste, which is dangerous um, and we can't really do anything with it. All we can do is bury it under the ground and leave it there and it'll take thousands and thousands of years to lose that radioactivity. So not an ideal solution either. So why would we use them instead of renewables? Well, we get an awful lot of energy out of them for a start. We get loads and loads of energy out of them. We also uh, don't have to rely on the weather. An awful lot of the renewable energy resources are dependent on the weather, whereas coal power stations, oil, gas, nuclear, it doesn't matter whether it's raining or sunny outside, it doesn't matter whether it's winter or summer, we can get as much energy out of them as we need. And they're under our control. So there are big advantages to them, but there are big disadvantages as well, which is why an awful lot of people are looking at renewables as an alternative, but unfortunately, they don't have those same advantages. Remember, lots of energy, they're really concentrated sources of energy, and they're incredibly reliable. I hope that's clarified some of the information about the non-renewable energy resources. To find out about the renewable energy resources, please just click here. Good luck in your GCSEs, everyone. And if this video was useful to you, please use the buttons below to like, subscribe, or share it with anyone else you think could also use a little help. Thanks for watching.